Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, I want to talk more about Florabel. I want to do some testing with her on this account against the Sia, see how she works, and also talk about why I'm probably going to be skipping her on my free-to-play account, because even though I think she's an incredibly strong unit, uh, I actually think she's a really well-balanced unit. We'll talk about that as well. Um, but even though she's a strong unit, in my opinion, I just think when we're looking to free-to-play accounts, especially mine specifically, one, I don't have the summons to put in. I've only got 5,000 diamonds. It's not worth it to just go chasing a couple copies, in my opinion. I'd rather save, wait for the next character that I think absolutely breaks the meta and go for them. Hey, maybe we find some crazy thing out about Florabelle in the next few days and then she becomes that unit. But at the moment, I'd rather just save. Also, I feel like she does compete heavily with Cecilia for the same position. I feel like they both basically fill the same role really well. Now, they do have the synergy to Together once she gets to Mythic Plus. Honestly, they are actually pretty synergistic prior to Mythic Plus as well, just due to the way they can control a battlefield when they both get their ults off, depending on how much incoming pressure is from the enemy team. And we'll do some testing with that and show you guys what I'm talking about in a minute. But like I said, because I do already have that Mythic Plus to see her and I'm out of currency, I just think going for her on my free-to-play account isn't the wisest decision. It's a bit of overinvestment into that account. Now that account, I am going to save diamonds. I'm done spending them on the standard banner and i'm gonna wait for a unit that maybe i can get to maybe mythic plus or pities and that's when i'll decide to go for a unit or if i see them think there's a game breaking unit that's when i will summon but at the moment i think i'm gonna skip her on my my free-to-play account like i said even though she is a decent unit now let's quickly talk about how viable i think she is once again this is only after like half a day of testing so take this with a grain of salt but i like updating you guys on my thoughts now i think she is a top tier uh, campaign slash AFK stage pushing unit. I think she's fantastic for it. She's very similar to Cecilia. Like I said, they fill that similar role. You could run either of these two in the comp of Smokey and Tandra, Coco and Rowan and do perfectly well. They both work super well. In general, I feel like Florabelle has higher damage output, but Cecilia has wider control on that first ultimate, which can often be clutch. So in different situations, they're going to be better, but you can also still run them together in this team that I have up the top, drop the Rowan and bring the second DPS. And provided you can survive Survive until them both getting their ult, you do start to snowball the field and actually do pretty well. Just depends on enemy teams. So campaign and AFK stage pushing, I think she's absolutely fantastic. Uh, for bossing, I think she's okay. I th she has better, from when I tested her on whale accounts, maxed out versus maxed out Cecilia, she has higher raw damage output. Now, I think she she's not, I don't think she's going to be meta in all the bosses, but there is one that I'm waiting to see, which is the Snow Stomper. Because she has three summoned units, I feel like in Snow Stomper, those three summoned units might help you burst down the ice so fast that maybe it increases damage output and she becomes a meta unit in that boss. We will have to wait and see, but that's where I think her main bossing chance stands. For battle drills in guilds, I think she's going to be absolutely amazing for that. I think she's going to be a huge unit all around uh, in there. She's so versatile for that type of thing. I think she's going to be great in that. Um, and then when we look to uh, PvP, I think she's going to be great early game. Kind of like Cecilia, very, very similar unit. But uh, when we look to the end game, I don't think she's going to have the speed to keep up with the Iron comps at the moment. And that's the way I see her. Like I said, I think she's a really good all-round unit. But because she's so close to the, the role that Cecilia fills, and I already have a Mythic Plus Cecilia, I'm going to leave her on my main account. But let's jump over in this one and let's do some testing and show you guys kind of where we're at in this one. So... Let's just jump into this one and try. You can see we're, we're, we're at a little bit of a deficit. It's not crazy deficit. I haven't pushed this uh, account for hours trying to get to a max deficit. This is just some testing stuff. So you can see here, uh, we're running that comp, but we're running the double DPS. Now, I don't know if we're going to survive against this because there's a lot of pressure on this team. Also, we have the RNG of Roots to see how we go. But in general, she can fill the front row spot alongside the Antandra pretty decently. You just try and make Antandra take the three enemies that are attacking uh, and make her take the two. And it normally works decently well because she's a warrior. She has those tankier stats and she sits in the front row better than a Cecilia. Like I said, the other option is to go with a team like this um, and slot it like that. And you got the more survivability, but less damage. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to test this until this doesn't work. And then we'll go ahead and swap it over. So let's go ahead and check this out. So let's jump into the battle. 
and let's see how it goes uh so we got we get we got the healing coming is she gonna die straight up no she does get healed up the ultimate comes okay she gets tapped by that ultimate unfortunately but we still do have Cecilia here who can actually clutch the battle we are controlled but we do have the buff up and we might be all right in this one okay so we, we are going to actually survive through it because we got the cc chain happening anyway even though she did die so let's jump into a few more stages and take a look i can't really compare their damage because she died too soon uh, but often i do see that when i run both of them that she does have a little bit more damage and this is another one of those awkward stages let's see how this one goes um hopefully we can live they're not actually thrown too hard oh yeah this is a six stage so this is going to be fairly easy so she's going to have no issues living hopefully i mean she's getting a little bit low and that's where rowan potions do help but now that we have both of these units out once again we don't have the shields provided she's not doing any buffing to carlisle but just having all those units in there on the enemies once you get those two alts when these two are in the same team you do start to snowball pretty hard now once again i'm not at the max deficit so i i can definitely see if i was doing this on my free-to-play account and she was Mythic Plus. She'd have to be there for me to even test this. Um, but yeah, I, I can see that wouldn't be as effective and we'd probably have to go with the Rowan. But let's just keep testing a few things here. So let's go in and see how it goes. So she takes a bit of heat. We are getting the heals up. We've got the summoned unit in there, which is starting to take some shots. So that's the cool thing. So the Spiny, I think the name is, the one with the spear, you can see that she plays, she ran in front of Florabelle and started actually absorbing some of those hits. So that's ideally what you want to get to happen. Actually, let's check out damage here. See the, see the damage comparison between the two units while we have them both on the same team. And there you go. She's she's a bit higher than uh, Cecilia in that one. And like I said, normally I do find that she does have the higher damage output. And it, it, I find that it expands further when we look at bossing in the end game. But that was against Necro. So there are a lot of factors to consider. So this one, uh, we might go something like this. Um, I mean, this isn't ideal, but let's, let's try something like this. And see if we can get that. Hopefully we tap the Thorn super quick. Yeah, it is a 48 stage, so it's not going to be crazy difficult. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're pretty much fine here. And once again, we are at that little bit lower deficit. It's not like broken deficits that are disgusting, but it's not like it's not like my free-to-play account pushing. Um, so, you know, we do have that bit of extra survival, so we're not dying for the, uh, the survival. But I will update you guys as I find out more. But like I said, I do think she is an incredibly solid unit. Um, let's go like this, 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 and this. Let's drag those units away, see what happens. Okay, we all stay in range. And so there she goes. She, she's brought out Spiny. And look at Spiny. Oh, no, that's a healer unit. So I was going to say, watch Spiny do, take some damage. But there you go. You can see you can see Spiny. I think it's Spiny. Starting to take some damage in the corner there, uh, which is good, which is what you want, because you want those summoned units to be able to absorb and mitigate uh, a little bit of damage for you. Now, it's going to be unfair once we get our next ultimate with Smokey because he does start dealing damage, but you, you guys get the gist of what's going on here. Let's jump in. Let's do 350 and see how 350 goes, uh, and we'll see how we go from there. So let's check the damage as well, actually. Dude, Igor is just... Igor is just stupid. Just a stupid unit. Right, let's go, let's go. Clean it up, clean it up. Dude, he, he just it stalls for days. Oh, just painful. Wow. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, we actually had Cecilia out damaging that one. Okay, interesting. Doesn't normally happen like that. So here we go, 350. Let's take a look. Uh, this formation should be pretty fine. A lot of pressure coming out of this team. So let's see how we... Oh, wait, we got taunted. Yeah, we, we're going to wipe here. Got to put Smokey in the back corner. Oh, uh, we did get... The, he's going to get taunted again, which is going to kill us. Unfortunately, Antandra's down, but here we go. We start getting the summons out, and that becomes super clutch because now they can take some hits. Unfortunately, we do have AoEs coming out from these enemies. Uh, so she is down now. We still have Cecilia alive. Can we Cecilia Smokey this? Uh, maybe? Because Rowan's in, in range? Yeah, we got this. We got this. Okay, okay, nice, nice. That was clutch. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart it anyway. Uh, because I want to see uh, if we can get some synergy happening with these two. So let's do it like this. So this should be fine because this way we still heal everyone. Uh, but Smokey doesn't get taunted. So then we can keep the heals rolling and hopefully keep them both alive. There comes the taunt. Here comes the extra heal. Now we're about to do the summon. Uh, we'll slow Coco down. We'll get the Cecilia to ult first. Uh, there it is. And then we'll put Coco on. 
Uh, and that way every, everyone's buffed. And now we've got all these units out there that have just so much distraction and aggro that like it just protects your team. So I do think, like I said, I do think in certain teams, running these two as a double DPS, even without the Mythic Plus, is still a viable thing just due to if you can survive until the ultimates. Then you've just got so much distraction on the enemy team. Yes, AoEs will still hit you, but like they're just swarmed by the adds, which just kind of like disrupts a lot of plays. Uh, but once again, once we push into higher deficits, I think you're going to die to the burst too quickly um and that's going to be an issue but uh but yeah that's sort of where i'm looking at like i said the other team you can use is going to be something like this where we go ahead and we slap the rowan in there and against this kind of team because we have oh that's not the laser one okay i thought it was the laser one i always panic about the laser one that shoots the big lasers because if you bring the rowan with the smoky against the lasers you can normally just withstand the lasers uh so that's why i was doing that but it's not the laser one but once again this kind of team works perfectly with us as well once again coco just being super clutch putting that buff on everyone including the summons it just makes it it just makes it so much better. So here we go. Boom. We get the big damage up. We get the knock up and away we go. And she's just pretty synergistic. Now, obviously, this is 351. So it's a bit of an easier stage. Once again, once we get our third ult, Smokey just starts dominating, which is a bit unfair. But it is what it is. But that's a basic look around her at the moment. Like I said, I think by no means is she a bad unit. I think she is a very strong unit. I think she's one of the top tier damage dealing units for pushing campaign and AFK stages. But she's not. doesn't feel as strong in bossing. Once again, could be good in Stomp. Um, and then for Arena, great early game, struggles a bit late game in my opinion. Uh, and then I think for Battle Drill, she's going to be fantastic. So overall, as a unit, I think she's absolutely fantastic. But once again, because as free-to-play, especially on my free-to-play account, you've got limited resources. You kind of got to balance out your account. And I don't think she's game-breaking enough for make me to like have to go for her but once again if you do get her i think she is a nice acquisition anyway so that is just some thoughts around uh the floribel and my thoughts around her once again probably going to skip her just because of lack of stuff and already a mythic plus to see her but uh let me know what you guys are doing anyway as always thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers